and burst. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2.
No more rot. No more heat. What is rot? Anti-God activity. Anti-God sensation. Anti-God thing. No more in our eyes. What happened last week is not moving to next week. In Jesus, and Sunday in the Lord's house, we begin the next week. What about your tongue? How many of you have fire in your tongue? Unholy fire. Grumbling, murmuring, slander, angry word. Anybody have a problem with your tongue? Anybody? Your tongue must be holy or have a little fire sometimes. Did your tongue have some fire sometime last week? Okay, we are taking our tongue for propitiation. If we see, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, who is our propitiation. So peace comes with mercy and righteousness. Important. God is preaching mercy. Peace does not come with mercy only. You have a problem in your mind. Mercy first. Okay. Mercy is like the is like hydrogen peroxide. But there has to come something called righteousness to put into it. Peace equals mercy plus Righteousness. Many Christians and many Christian preachers remove righteousness. Then what happens? We have peace from the moment. Problem comes in. Problem comes in. Okay. Peace equals this right now. Peace. That is propitiation. Jesus kind of peace equals mercy plus righteousness. First, what do you like first? Mercy of Christ. We are all, we always, we like mercy first. We like mercy first. Yes. First, mercy. But for peace to be lasting, for propitiation, there has to be mercy plus righteousness. So, what is propitiation? Mercy plus righteousness. Both come from the same God. This is not two kinds of God. God of righteousness, God of mercy. Not two gods, same person. Our Father he is rich in mercy. And He is righteous. But there are two. If we say, we have an advocate with the Father. And the word advocate in Greek is Paraphrase. Just the one for the Holy Spirit. One who speaks on our behalf, not against us. He speaks on our behalf. He speaks to the Father on our behalf. And the Paraclete speaks to us on our behalf. Because the Holy Spirit has to speak to us. Then we are obstinate people. We listen to ourselves. That's why the Holy Spirit is given. Why is the Holy Spirit given to us? That He may. The power of the Lord was. How many of you think Holy Spirit is a better friend to me than me? He is given to us. He speaks to us. What an advocate he is. His advocacy is always for us and in alignment with the Father's nature. So even when we pray, we must pray in the Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to pray to us. So Romans 8, 26 says with unutterable groanings. Holy Spirit gives you prayer to us. Knowing our infirmities, Holy Spirit prays. He prays on our behalf. And according to the Father's mind, we need the Holy Spirit. If we sin, we have a paraphrase with the Father. And we have a paraphrase in us. And the two are always in the field. 
advocate with the father and the paracletas in us are always in agreement. No schizophrenia in the Trinity. Thank God. They don't ever have to go to psychiatrists. So we don't have cause. Because they are complete agreement. If we sin, we have an advocate with the father who says he is a big father of the gate. And we have an advocate in us Holy Spirit. If we say we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. How is that telling you the theology? Now Jesus Christ, the merciful. Jesus Christ, the righteous. Of course, Jesus Christ is merciful. Okay. Well, now, too. If we say we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Immediately. Who is our propitiation for us? Immediately peace comes. So the kingdom of God is Romans 14, 17, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Will you say it in Romans 14, 17? Romans 14, 17. Kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. In the Holy Ghost. I want you to keep this in mind. God is rich in mercy. I don't know what you do to feel rich, whether you put life boy on yourself or whether you put some shampoo on yourself. When you want to be rich in mercy towards yourself, I don't know what you do. What do I do? Maybe I'll be eating some. Yogurt with some tree of vineyard. I feel very rich at that time. I feel very rich. Of course, in the physical. But God, who is rich in peace. So peace equals biblical praise. Jesus' peace is equal mercy plus righteousness. Mercy plus. Righteousness. Mercy comes first. Save yourself. As we sin, what comes first? Mercy comes first. Douses us. Washes us. Removes the mud, the dirt, the vomit, the dirt, the way into mercy. Then comes righteousness. So that this sin will not come away. If you preach mercy of the Christians will keep sin. If you preach righteousness only, Christians will be hiding themselves. Usually churches are polarized between mercy, 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 righteousness, righteousness, righteousness. I don't have to tell you what I was like, you know. Now in my 60th year I have learned this. Mercy first. You may say you took too long to learn. What do you do? Some people are so nervous. Mercy first. Mercy comes. God who is preaching mercy. It is amazing. It's mercy that comes first. If your child gets injured, puts his hand in the fire, does some drugs to think, he's wounded. First comes mercy. You want to stop bleeding. You want to see that no one else praise the Lord. Mercy and righteousness must be. Otherwise the same will will come. Otherwise the same will come here. We bring the peace for our eyes, for our tongues that go on fire. James 3. This oven that goes on fire. That can set up a whole house on fire. And the neighbor's house. 